Coming up next, it's the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. All right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated wrestler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for Kumura here. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his body. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Block there. And there comes the separation now. Changes his game. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, and he's back up again. I look at him working. He's trying to shut the lid. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so once more, he takes the fight to the ground. That was his game to land exactly what he planned on doing coming into the fight. So far, so good. So far, so good. There's no reason to be disappointed. He does a fantastic job of entering, and once he gets to the takedowns, he does a great job of securing top position and really getting damage off on his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. What a punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 20 seconds left. the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. Round under one. So he's really starting to put together some six leg attempts here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Now he's down the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Let's try it. Let's try it. Really picked up the pace. 
Ace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here. It's hard to find himself in the pocket. Oh, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, right in the mouth. Best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar. Whoa!